Recovery Guidelines. Position the head of the device at the desired starting point. Using a slight downward pressure to ensure the cutting edge of the blade maintains contact with the recovery site. Only light pressure is required. Once the cutting starts, move the device head in the desired direction. Maintain a steady speed to ensure desired graft thickness and width is recovered. Let's see that again. Notice the operator is adjusting the depth gauge during the recovery. As the skin graft emerges from the device head, the following options can be used to collect the recovered graft. Option 1. Use a forceps to gently lift the skin graft as it emerges from the device head. Option 2. Allow the skin graft to lie along the recovery site. When the recovery is complete, lift the device off the recovery site. Do not stretch or pull the skin graft. Attempting to keep the instrument too flat may inadvertently cause the operator to lift the cutting edge away from the recovery site. When too much pressure is applied, the sound of the motor will change to a higher pitch and it will sound like it is overworking. The depth gauge plate on the instrument is designed to flatten the skin as it approaches the cutting edge of the blade. Now lift up. Remember you do not need much angle higher. on the device. A little higher. Now lay it back down. Keep the device as flat as possible. The movement is more scraping. Use a slow, steady speed. Moving too fast does not allow the user to adjust to body contours or irregularities in the tissue during use. This results in crescent moon shaped patterns or uneven thickness in the skin grafts. A slow steady speed is required. Moving too fast with the Amalgatome MD skin recovery device does not allow the user to adjust to body contours or irregularities in tissue during use. It may be tempting that while a good graft is in motion to turn a corner or move in another direction, resulting in an S, L, or V-shaped graft. There is a chance this could result in discard. If the lubricant has dried in an area after you have applied it, you may need to reapply. The blade may not immediately cut the skin, or it will feel like it is skipping or grabbing. Move the depth setting to the desired depth before turning the device on. Remember, begin a steady pace to recover the skin once you have an initial full cut. Then maintain that same pace. The device was designed for ease of use. You do not have to push hard to recover the thickness you desire.
if the skin appears too thin or too thick during the recovery, you can change the depth setting during the recovery.